guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today is going to be a great video. A lot of you guys have been requesting to hear my balance update wish list. I'm going to go ahead and fulfill that request right now. But a quick disclaimer, this will not include cards that I feel need a rework. Only buffs and nerfs on today's list. So cards like Freeze or Heal or Elite Barbarians, which I feel are fundamentally broken, need more than just a stat increase or decrease will not appear on this list. So let's go ahead and get right to it, guys. Oh, and one more thing. When I was compiling this list, guys, I thought to myself, man, there's a lot of redundancy in the cards in the game right now. It's been almost three years since the game came out. Maybe they ought to slow it down with the card releases and instead just release really interesting, new, and perhaps, you know, groundbreaking cards. Cards that do something a bit different. We have enough four and five Elixir support cards in the game already. And if they add more, even if they're really strong, I feel like it's just redundant. So I would personally, I mean, who am I? I'm just a stupid talking head on YouTube, but I would personally recommend to Clash Royale to supercell to the team that maybe put the brakes on the new cards. Let us work on the cards that already exist while you try to balance them, and then just, you know, I don't want to stop to all new cards, but maybe taper it down a little bit and add maybe exciting new cards like minor, the cards that kind of change the game, you know, when they're introduced, like Tornado, cards like that I'm a big fan of. So with that out of the way, let's start out with the nerfs. Let's just start out with the obvious guys, the Electro Dragon. The Electro Dragon clearly needs a nerf. It's in every single deck archetype, in Lava Hound, in Golem, in Minor decks, in Hog decks, in Royal Giant decks, in Expo, it, it, it's everywhere. The card is everywhere, but I would caution not to overdo it on the, the Electro Dragon. Seriously, I feel like some of the nerfs lately have taken a card from hero to zero, and we don't want that to happen. Hopefully just a very small small tweak to the stats, a small HP nerf for example would be perfect to fix the Electro Dragon and still allow him to remain in the meta. So I think a very small nerf to the Electro Dragon is necessary. Second on the list is going to be the Battle Ram, and I know a lot of you guys disagreed with this card when I mentioned it the last time, but let me give you some stats that may surprise you guys. Battle Ram has a higher use and win rate as of right now when I'm recording this video on November 24th than the Electro Dragon. Partially because P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam is everywhere right now. You know, the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, Battle Ram decks with uh, Electro Dragon or P.E.K.K.A. Battle Ram with Bandit and, and, and E-Wizard. There's a lot of those decks going around. And of course, Battle Ram is in every Three Musketeer deck, which is dominating as well. But I think rather than nerfing P.E.K.K.A. or Three Musketeers... I would just rather see a nerf to the card that's more popular, wins more often, and complements those two decks very well. That is why I suggest nerfing the Battle Ram. Again, a small nerf to the Battle Ram that will keep those two archetypes in check and hopefully still allow them to be very viable. That's why Battle Ram is going to be card number two on my nerf list. Now this next card on my nerf list, again, in a vacuum is okay. It's the Barbarian Barrel. However... I do feel like the use rates on this spell are just incredibly too high. It is boxing out cards. It has a double the use rate at tournament level standard compared to the log. It's double as popular as the log. It's like a hundred times more popular than the giant snowball, which uh, more on that coming up, guys. So I really think the Barbarian Barrel needs a little bit of a haircut to the stats. Uh, I don't know what they need to undo, what they need to change. Maybe I think the speed moved a little bit faster on one of those buffs just undo one of the buffs and hopefully it will still remain viable without boxing out cards like the log as much as it currently is that's why that's going to make number three and conclude our nerf list that's right i only have three nerfs that must mean i have a lot of buffs so let's get to them buff number one is going to be the Royal Recruits, we already know this is coming. Rumham has already came out and said that he does plan on buffing the Royal Recruits after CRL World Finals. So this is not going to surprise anybody. I think that making them 7 Elixir and reverting that stat that stat buff that they did a couple months ago would be a viable solution to making them meta. Either that or giving them another stat buff. I don't want them to be OP because OP Royal Recruits, we've been there, done that, not that fun, right? They're not that compelling of a card. So... Uh, don't overdo it, but make them just just a tiny buff 
would make them viable in my opinion. So that's why Royal Recruits is going to be the first cart on the list. Number two on the list is Giant Snowball. Giant Snowball just takes a little bit too long to get to its target, which makes a uh, zap compared to Giant Snowball advantageous in my opinion. Sure, the knockback effect is pretty cool. The freeze effect is pretty cool, or the, the ice effect that it kind of lingers with the target. I think if you just make the duration of that ice effect a bit longer, maybe dramatically longer, maybe two times longer, it could be much more a compelling choice. Either that, or just fire up the Snowball attack speed, because right now I feel like it's hard to combat it as it is like hovering zap it's way more preferable to hover that zap in my opinion i think that giant snowball definitely needs a buff it's a kind of cool card i wish it would be more viable in the meta especially in one verse one I currently only really see it in 2v2 number three on the list is going to be magic archer what did you do to magic archer supercell man i'm going to keep this very short and sweet Revert the nerf to Magic Archer. I don't think Magic Archer was an issue in the game. Sure, it got tremendous value, but it was always a cool card to have in your deck. It was a fun card to play, and it wasn't dominating. The use rates were not sky high. I don't think it deserved a nerf. I think they should revert that nerf back and, uh, you know, give a Magic Archer some pride again, Supercell. What do you have against Magic Archer? I'm a big fan of Magic Archer. I wish it wasn't the second least popular card in the game right now next to Recruits. Troop card, that is. Next on the list is going to be Goblin Giant. Goblin Giant is cr getting there slowly and slowly but surely. He is creeping into, well, it's, it's not meta. Like, who am I kidding? Giant uh, Goblin is an interesting card. It's kind of a unique card. I think that the reason they may have nerfed the Giant is to give a little bit of space for Giant Goblin to become viable, to have a little bit of room in the meta, but it didn't work. I would say that the Goblin Giant definitely deserves another buff, maybe a small stat buff. Again, let's not go overboard. Let's kind of temper our uh, huge nerfs and huge buffs, Supercell. But they're definitely going to have to include the Goblin Giant on the list again. Next up, we have my girl, Sparky. Sparky, especially with all the E-drag going around, took another hit. She's always been at the bottom of the list when it comes to viable legendary cards. Not to say that she's useless. I know a few of you guys right there in the comments, Nick, I'm looking at you, man, are going to be like, Sparky is viable, Ash. I love Sparky. And and I get it, you can still use Sparky and have success, but with all the cards they keep adding to the game that reset Sparky, I feel like she finally deserves a little bit of love. Now, will that come in a form of a rework or just a buff? Well, you know what? Let's just start with a buff and see how it goes, right? Give Sparky some love. Viva la Sparky, not a trash can on wheels. I think I've said all the cliches I can. Let's move on to the list. Hey, speaking of cards that interrupt the Sparky's Blast, how about those Zappies? Zappies were really awesome when they were in the meta, in my opinion. They were a real staple of control decks for about a month or two there, and I actually kind of liked seeing Zappies used. I like cards that you can split, and I like the dual lane archetype. So, I want to see more Zappies in the game. Currently, they're at the bottom of the barrel in terms of use and win rates. Let's go ahead and maybe revert some of that nerf to the Zappies. I think if we've learned one thing here, whether it be the Royal Hogs or the Magic Archer or the Zappies that maybe nerfing and buffing the first attack time on a troop or Valkyrie for example maybe that's a bad way to balance a card because it seems like whenever they do that they either make a card really OP or they just kill it so that's why I'm going to go ahead and suggest a buff to the Zappies and last but not least on our list today, guys, or at least my list, my wish list, is the Expo. Now, Expo is not as in a bad of a spot as we thought it might be. There's still a lot of great Expo players using Expo. Problem is, is there's a lot of average players that would like to use Expo as well, and it's really tough. Now, especially considering we already know that the recruits are going to get a buff that changes things, it's going to be even more difficult on Expo users. That is the reason I'm including Expo on the list. If recruits get a buff, well, it's going to be hell as an Expo user. So I think the correct buff for Expo is to slightly decrease its load time. That way it's a little bit more difficult for the opponent to distract that Expo with that giant or recoup a little bit of elixir while it is loading onto the arena. 
All right, guys, and that's going to do it. That is my list for today. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? I know you'll let me know in the comments below. You guys always do. I really appreciate you guys watching, and a huge shout out to StatsRoyale.com, where I got all of my win and use rates, and you guys can too, whether it be tournament level standard or on ladder. You can check out the win and use percentages of all cards if you're curious. Guys, a huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Shout out to you guys for watching all the way till the end. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you, and as always... Take care, guys.